Good morning and welcome to a day in my life as a military brat. For those of you who have never seen a video of mine before, my name is Mia. I'm going into college as a sophomore this fall. I go to NYU and my dad is in the Navy. So yes, military brat. For today's outfit, I kept it a little more casual. My pants are from Urban Outfitters and then the top was one I found from the men's section and thrifted and cut up. Girl, you know I wanted to get started and be productive early on in the day, but I fell asleep after my morning alarms. It's okay, we just had a lazy morning, got on my shoes, and went for a walk with my dad before he went to work. Good morning, we are doing a little hot girl walk to get some quick groceries. And it started raining and it never rained here when we came out while it was drizzling. Actually, it's not even drizzling anymore, so forget what I said. But we're gonna enter a raffle for some zoo tickets from the USO first, which is like the military, it's like a military charity kind of organization. Fun. I still look like I'm waking up too. Grocery haul. I know, I hope so. That would be really great. That would definitely sell out. I know, it sell out really fast. Quick grocery haul because we actually didn't get much. Went to Trader Joe's. Salsa because we are going to make quesadillas for lunch and I haven't had salsa. For a while strawberry cashew yogurt yum and then an avocado for the quesadillas also and a plum to eat soon for a snack actually that's it that's the haul okay it seems like there is no change in time because i'm back at the same spot but basically we live in military housing right now so we just got back from this thing it's called military outreach ministries Every week, it's one of the military houses. Costco donates a bunch of food. And so the families can go and pick some free items from Costco, which is really nice. So that's one cool thing that's like the military does a lot of really cool community stuff and a lot of other companies help out with that for the families. So that was our little Trader Joe's haul when we also, my dad and I went to the USO earlier. The USO runs off of like volunteer work, which is really cool. Anyways, let me give you a little Costco haul that we got because we just went to this. They had a lot of food. We had some cookies, this giant salad. It looks so good. We had a lot of bananas. They had like boxes of bananas. And then we got this stir fry kit, which we've gotten before from another time from them. And then we just like, cook it in a giant saucepan and it actually is really good. So I think we're gonna have that for dinner tonight. And then we got the almond poppy seed muffins, which are currently one of my favorite obsessions. Now my mom and I are gonna make some quesadillas for lunch. This is the fabulous lunch my mom and I had. We had some veggie and brisket quesadillas. I cut up the red plum and avocado and we had some chips and salsa. It slayed. After lunch, I went up to my room and had to do a little bit of cleaning before I got started on anything else. I basically just got back from a weekend trip to LA because my friend Heather came to visit me. She's gonna be one of my sweet mates this fall at NYU and I had so much fun with her, but I didn't vlog it, unfortunately. And I got this super cute tank top for only $10 from the Melrose Tree post although it does have a hole in it and I will sue just kidding but I am a little bummed about that because I didn't see it until now so yeah you know how it goes I had to do all the laundry and pick up everything One thing that really helps motivate me with my like day-to-day -day tasks even or keeping track of stuff during the week is making cute little like lists and plans on Notion and then also making Pinterest boards or using like images from Pinterest for my Notion boards. So I did that and planned some stuff for YouTube and then I set a timer so I could do some reading. I'm reading The Beach still. I should be finished with it already but I have not given it the time of day that it deserves. So here we are. Anyways, A for effort. I didn't get a shot of the bank but after reading Porter and I went to Navy Federal because he actually had a check to cash in so we went and got him some cash and he was just munching on snacks the whole way there king boss I love him and then when we got back, I stole some of my mom's Korean coffee from H Mart. It is so good and so easy to make and I made myself a quick cup of coffee You know today has been a no makeup kind of day. Whoa 
This tripod is sliding. Hair is back up because after skating, I was sweating. It was so hot. I thought we could have like a little chat while I wait for my coffee to cool down. I think a lot of you that watch my videos or have found my channel, it's been through like my NYU videos and my film school videos. Honestly, those are my favorite too. I realized this summer that this is just a whole other part of my life. I'm a military brat. My dad's in the Navy. When people ask me where I'm from, honestly, it's a difficult answer and there's not really a quick answer for it. I've never lived anywhere more than four years. I grew up in military housing and moving with the military and moving schools and like houses and everything all the time. I filmed one military brat day in the life video before when we moved to Virginia last and that was like probably like 2018. So it's been a while and it's so interesting because that video actually brought me like quite a few really cool opportunities. I was interviewed for the BBC for the new TV show that came out about military kids and then this kid Shannon reached out to me he's also a military brat and he has this podcast called the Shannon show so I think literally like almost a year ago he reached out and I got to do a fun little podcast interview with him which is up on Spotify and wherever else you listen to but he does some really cool like interviews he's very active military kids so I think it's really cool if you want to go check that out and support him he's really nice basically I haven't like made any content about being a military brat and so today is the day obviously I feel like every like especially after this first year of school and being at NYU it's like every time I came back and then I was in New York alone for so long I'm realizing that as I'm getting older I'm getting like more and more detached from that world which is so weird to me because I grew up like being on military bases and going to the commissary and doing military sponsored USO events so it's definitely weird to kind of like watch my life slowly draw away from that. That's why I thought it would be fun to kind of do a little glimpse into a military day in my life because it's not really something I talk about. It's such a like specific experience I feel like and it can be really lonely sometimes. That's my reasoning for doing this video today but at the end of the day it's just another summer vlog. I also just came back like this past weekend. Heather came to visit me then we drove up to LA and we spent like a few days there and it was so much fun but I can't believe it's already July next month I'm going back to New York which is crazy to think about but I'm also excited too this was kind of a random chat I would say it's a coffee chat but the coffee MIA right now coffee is literally chilling cooling down but when I was with Heather we started watching New Girl together and that's something I never watched I think Dylan's watched it before and like it's definitely something I never would have started watching on my own but it kind of turned into like our routine our little comfort show we watch a few episodes every night so I think I'm gonna put a couple episodes on and draw on this little picture that I've been taking my sweet time drawing on my lady on the wall <laughs> Let me tell you, I have been having so much fun working on this drawing every day. I do a little bit and I turn on my show and it's just the best time, the best routine. But after drawing for a while, I went downstairs and did the stir fry. I would say I cooked, but I literally didn't do anything. I just added some of our own like sauces and spices, but literally nothing. Anyways, voila, there is the famous Costco stir fry that the military gave us for free. So thank you, military. After dinner, we cleaned the table and put the dishes away and then I lit this Paris Cafe candle that is so good. It smells like Main Street at Disney World. If you know, you know. We all destroyed some ice cream and then I took a shower and did my little skincare routine. If you've watched any of my other recent videos, you've probably seen it step by step. Hopefully it's not annoying, but here she is again. I live for this nighttime routine. It's my favorite thing getting out of the shower. And after I finished that, believe it or not, I had to do some forms already to prepare for the fall semester and going back and just doing some little resume touch-ups. It's that time of night again where we just have really bad lighting. I have my retainer in, so I've got a little bit of a lisp. I just spent some time going over stuff. I have a lot of like resume and 
forms to do for the fall semester tomorrow. And I also have to be up really early because first of all, I'm filming and then the Heaven by Marc Jacobs has an archive sale going up on the website, which is at like 6 a.m. West Coast time. I hope you enjoy this like tiny snippet of military, military brat day in my life. If you've made it this far, comment how many places you've moved or lived or maybe you've only lived in one place your whole life. Thanks for watching. Now it's time to turn this light off again. This is not the vibe. Bye.